So the final piece of this process is querying the transaction using the pay request ID. So if we go here, uh, this is what we want to do. So if we go all the way down and see what that entails. So you send in a request, uh, the pay gate ID, pay request, the reference, and then the checksum. So I'm sure you can see the checksum is pretty much a big, big deal here. So if we go back to the code, we said when this is complete, we will redirect to an action called complete, which we haven't created yet. It accepts one parameter. So the third part is not mandatory, but in our case, we sort of kind of need it to update uh, the transaction table. So I'm going to make it a private function. So verify the transaction. It takes in a response content and then a reference, which is the, the payment reference. So it's pretty much similar to the ones we made. We have HTTP client. We turn this response content into a dictionary. We create another dictionary that is not related to the one above. And then to make this request, we need the pay gate ID and all of these. So pay gate ID, pay request reference, and then we create a checksum of which they also need here. All right. And then we prepare to make a request. And then the next thing we do is we make that request. We can, like I said, ensure its success. We read the response from that URL. We then convert that back into a dictionary. If there are no errors within this, then update the transaction. And now, when we're updating the transaction, the extra values we're getting from Paygate is the transaction status, the description, and then the result code. And that's what we're adding. And then we are going to call this method inside here. So we initiate. We give it a return URL. On that re return URL, we do some magic, verify the payment, update the transaction, and then redirect to a page that says your thing is complete or it failed. Okay, now let's create this complete, this, um, the page that you are redirected to after paying which is, sorry, this one, this complete function. So I'm going to put that one here. So it's a function that takes an integer. So zero for not done, one for approved, declined, and whatnot. And this is basically what this is, not done, approved, and whatnot. OK, great. Now that that's out of the way, Let's create the views for this thing. So the first view we're going to create, I'm going to create a view for complete. So I'm going to add a view. Yep. So here's our view created. OK, so payment status. And then we're using view data to pass the status which was received from here. And then we'll say if it's approved, it's approved. If it's not approved, then well, something must have happened and we just spit that out. The second thing we're going to do is the index action. So add a view. Let me paste this. Okay, so here it is. So we have a pay button that says pay, 
and then when we click that button we gonna make a get request to this function this will return to us basically like um, I don't know all, all of these like maybe something went wrong or what what but ultimately this is our target when the transaction is recorded it's successful and it returned the results okay so when it succeeded we run this function when it's failed we run this error function so the success function is this is just manipulating the DOM and ultimately this is where our thing lies so if the data dot success if this is true so the data we return dot success is true uh, this is a JavaScript way we could just do it this way if it's true but I like this if it's true we grab the pay request ID we create like a, a hidden form okay and then this hidden form will go to this URL it will post a pay request ID it will post a checksum right to this URL which is this URL so essentially when this button is clicked this will redirect to this URL so this is what this this is doing it just adds a pay request it adds the value it received from here from this get request method it adds those, those values to this form okay and then it redirects and then goes to that page so it adds in the values it receives from the controller to this form and then it clicks the hidden button which will redirect it to this URL and then when you pay obviously uh, it returns to this one if it fails I mean if it fails then it, it, it just fails this there's nothing I can do about it okay and I think we're done so the first thing the one more thing that we're gonna do is when we run this initially I just want this to be the, the landing page for it okay so let's run this bait boy and see what it's gonna give to us and another thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the pay and I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller I'm gonna put a breakpoint here I'm also gonna put another breakpoint here and here let's go so processing it hit our endpoint and now we'll go to it step by step so F10 F10 here's the payment our pay request ID Okay, we add in the date, local, country, we hash it, and then now if we, if we look at it, we go to locals, let's minimize this, and we go on request, because this is our request, so you see the values it has, the keys and values pay gate ID here's the reference here's the amount the currency the return URL right the transaction date and here's the checksum okay that's the most important thing I want you guys to see it do next and now we make a post request okay the request returned back and here's the response so we read that response we turn it into a dictionary and then let's look at this dictionary so it came back with four values the pay gate ID which we gave to it obviously the pay request ID 
the reference and then the checksum and if we go back to these docs here here's the request you send and here's the response pay gate id pay request id reference and checksum so we pretty good so far does it have any errors no verify the checksum the checksum is good okay and then let's go and record a transaction So the transaction is recorded or was it yes it was recorded and then we return back the success response and the result so the result is what we got from paygate okay now it should redirect us to the paygate page perfect now you could add in like these ones okay so this one is for approved I mean you can look at the stuff here okay and then we'll just add this so you can put it in a date but it has to be like a future date and this could be anything and then we pay now it should redirect us back to here but we have a breakpoint so it's all good okay and then it hit this so what we expecting back uh, this is what we're expecting back pay request ID transactions status and then the checksum yep I believe I'm correct Okay, let's go. And then it's this turned out into a dictionary and then let's look into it. So we have a pay request ID, we have the status and then we have checksum. And then we have a lot of other things. Don't worry about those. So we update our transaction and we see if it was updated, which it was. All right. Now we do a checksum and say was everything good yep so this is the payment status that we want to pass to this complete is it one yes it's one then you can do whatever you want that means it's approved you can do whatever you want when the transaction is approved okay so essentially we are done we've recorded the transaction and it went through and then everything is good now we just need to verify it we don't need to verify it but we will verify it okay so we will go to the verified transaction which is this and then from that yep I'm all good from that we'll make the last call which is the query and then we'll pass in the values and we'll tell them what we're expecting back Okay, so that, 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 that. Okay, so pay gate ID, pay request, reference, check some. Yeah. Then we make a request. We verify that it was successful. We read the response. We turn the response into, um, into a dictionary. And let's just look at it. So the, the stuff we have back, we have pay gate ID, pay request, reference, results, code, auth, currency, amount. So we have more details like what method was used, the payment method, uh, the risk indicator, the checksum and all that kind of stuff. It contains no errors. Yes. So we update our transaction. And then we go back to this method, we redirect to the complete. And then it should give us this. So your payment has been approved. So you can do like a lot of other things, like when it's denied, um, when it's pending, 
um, when it's insufficient fund and all that kind of stuff so paygate must have sent me an email it's right here so they said I just paid 50 bucks with this reference and all that kind of stuff so that is the basics of how you use the pay DPO pay gate to accept payments on your website I hope you enjoyed this mini series and I don't want to ask you to subscribe and like it but if you liked it then that would be great if you just like it if you hated it don't like it like unlike it Okay, cool. Thank you.